Hey everyone, today is all about uh, integrated amplifier. New integrated amplifier that I'm going to upgrade or looking into upgrade in the future. So main features that I'm looking for is like 100 watts RMS at 8 ohm. Must have a really good MC phono stage and must have, uh, what do you call it? Or must not have digital analog converter and then it has to have a very good quality uh, build quality that really reflect the uh, asking price and of course sound quality as well I have uh, 10 amplifier that I'm looking at this moment price ranging from two to five thousand dollars price point so here's the list I'm going to share uh, what I think is worth it or not in this list so here's the list uh, of a 10 amplifiers currently I'm considering from Parasound, Hint 6 to Luxman all the way. So to replace this my old trusty Denon PMA 2004R which is 15 years old and still super reliable and very good power with dual mono design. Build quality is better than any amplifiers in today's marketplace offering two three thousand dollar price range with dual mono design dedicated very strong chassis and that kind of stuff but it's getting also I'm getting new M first thing naturally come to my mind was a local uh, manufacturer Parasound Halo which I used to have with the Halo separates like P5 and A21 they will sound great, but uh, as soon as they get out of a class A range, they sound, the sound is not, I'm not a big fan of, so that's the reason I got rid of them. So this one is very appealing, design and power and price and performance and that kind of ratio. But the problem for me, it, it has the uh, digital analog converter, which is... I'm not really fond of and I don't want any digital analog converter because most of my music listening is with the uh, vinyl and the uh, phono stage that they offer in this amp is okay it's just to have it there only two downside the holding me back the build quality wise it's okay good power the chassis is not that impressive to me uh, this one is made in Taiwan and next one is Riga Licit R it looks nice and compact design. I really dig the design and very simplicity of uh, this amplifier. You know, the features and everything is kind of lacking in this price point and especially the power because they rated like something like 100 something watts. According to third party, uh, RMS is only like 70 watts or so. That's what they put out. And build quality wise, it's not that impressive to me it's uh you know something like budget look and inside i'm not sure i will i'm willing to pay for this feature set for three thousand dollars so next one up is musical fidelity m6 si which is a very nice looking integrated m from musical fidelity with nice size he sings and very simple very simple looking front fascia with a lot of features in the back that offering balance outputs, USB inputs, and phono stage with a moving magnet and moving quads features. I really like the design and rated output is like 220 watts at 8 ohm RMS or not, I'm not sure, but they claim to be monoblock amplifiers. But when I see the inside view of this M, I was a little disappointed. So let's move on to next amplifier, which is a 2 uh, IN200 SE. This is a French manufacturer, very clean and modern looking design. I really like this kind of design and the silver fissure looks very nice and clean as well. A 2 is um, retail for. It's about $2,500 in the United States, but the thing is very hard to get one to audition or not everyone carries them. And plus, they don't have phono stage built in, but they do have a digital analog converter. And unlike M6SI, this one seems to be real dual mono design, which is very nicely laid out inside of the cabinet. 
So next one up is Maranza Prime Amp Ki Ruby, which is designed by uh, you know Ishiwata San, which is a famous uh, Mar Maranza designer. He he's been working with Maranza for a very long time. This one is very nice, clean look. It really matches the uh, my uh, Maranza uh, displayer that I use and. Um, so design wise I kind of like it but I'm not sure if I can be happy with this amp because this is based on class D amp which is I was never been a fan of a class D amplification good thing about this amp it, it does have a dedicated phono stage which is very high quality phono stage and it has the uh, all copper plated panels and everything so which is really nice and another thing I like about this amp the speaker terminal they use the uh, solid copper terminals as high end uh, higher end Maran's model its quality is really good and is made in Japan so workmanship is almost guaranteed it will last for a very long time this is the inside of the PMKI Ruby uh, amplifier so this is designed by Ken Ishiwata sound so this this could be the, his last one before he left but you know based on the class D design I scratched this and next one the Pegel uh, H190 amplifier one weird thing about this amp is it doesn't say where it's made so I don't know where they are made probably somewhere in East could be China I don't know uh, maybe they designed this in Norway but it's very nice and clean looking amplifier very simple fascia with the two dial knobs information display in the middle and the back of the unit this one feature digital analog converter which is the biggest turn down for me and speaker terminals are kind of small and in the middle so I would love to have uh, two separated speaker terminals on left and right and it has a limited analog inputs and it doesn't have any phono stage and when I see the inside I was a little disappointed uh, of the uh, overall build quality of the unit based on the asking price I'm not sure I'm willing to pay for this much and next one is Rogue Audio for Row, I believe so this is a nice integrated amp that made in the United States of America I like this a uh, black uh, fascia over the silver one personally it does have a very good uh, features input selection with the moving magnet phono stage it does I don't think they offer a moving quad phono stage in this an integrated amplifier plus it does have a balance inputs a, a little downside for me it, it doesn't have a I cannot put two pairs of the speaker with them and inside I mean it looks okay isn't you know I'm not totally impressed with the uh, you know the layout and build quality it looks to be one side heavy look and next one is Yamaha AS2100 amplifier I'm totally digging the look this meter and all the features look at that this one come with the retro look the switches and buttons and everything made of a solid aluminum and it also have a headphone M with the trim features who makes that and it does have a speaker selection you can choose either A or B or A and B simultaneously and it does also offer the meter function of a peak or VU meter and tone control of course and tone control is not in the signal path if you are uh, not engaging so that's good feature and does have a really good uh, phono stage the feature moving magnet and moving quiet phono stage overall features is really great and that piano gloss on the side like rear piano gloss finish and look at inside this is the integrated M that I like look at the uh, reinforced chassis with the bracing and nice size heat sinks and then all the capacitors and all that layout is really good I'm totally impressed with this amplifier and then another thing is I don't know why like Yamaha, Denon and Luxman 
They tend to underrate their power output. I don't know why. It has speaker AB terminal spread out on the left side for the left and right for the right. So I kind of like this channel separation and balance inputs, features, build quality, and the look. It looks luxurious and very beautiful amplifier. I'm in love with this one. This is the a very good quality amp. So next one is more expensive one, Luxman L505UX2, which is one of the nicest amplifier that I have ever seen in this price point. It's like a Yamaha 2100. The build quality really reflect the asking price and the, the VU meter is blue. So I'm not a really big fan of uh, blue meters. So that's another question, but this one feature loudness button. What a wonderful thing. That's a really good feature when you're listening at the uh, low volume level. And line straight is instead of pure direct, they use line straight. So some say four no stage in this amp is better than $1,500 standalone four no stage. So that is, I don't know. That's according to uh, some people. And this has your speaker A, B selection and A, B simultaneously. And of course, don't control and button for line straight and separate. Separate meaning you can use it as preamp or power amp. Most standout feature on this amp is liqueur attenuator or liqueur volume control knob, which is probably the most advanced volume control knob that money can buy. And this one is of course made in Japan. I really like this one and balance inputs which is must have for this price and then uh because trust me a lot of people will say you know short run balance and rca don't make different unless you're running the full balance amplification and this and that don't listen to them balance cable xlr cable make big difference no matter what price point they will reduce the background rise they will uh bring out the uh, uh, dB a little bit louder. So that's the benefit of a XLR cable. And look at inside build quality. It's very nice and clean layout. They use signal path short as possible. Meaning we got the input signal in the back panel and output stage in the back panel. So, and then all the knobs and everything uh, control electronically as a command center so which is really advanced so this Luxman 505 UX2 have many features that only a few company can produce May, many small manufacturers they can only dream of and next one is Riga Athos so this is very simple as usual like European amp uh, this one, I would call it like, uh, you know, basic, simple, analog amplifier without any tone control, any features, basic amp. But the price is same as the Luxman, almost $4,500. So the design-wise, I really like the design. And the heat sinks and everything is very nice as well. But, you know look at the feature in the back it doesn't have the balance input doesn't have the uh, phono stage and look inside i'm not impressed with the quality of the unit so here's a comparison of the inside of the amps this is a parasol halo and riga elicit r comparing next to each other this one is a two and Musical Fidelity M6SI. Tell me which one is more impressive for the price. Which one really reflect the uh, asking price. So this is about the same price. Hager and uh, KI Ruby. Tell me which one is more impressive. This is the Rogue Audio and Yamaha. These are the kind of thing that I really look into because I just want to make sure I got what I pay for. So these are two most expensive models that I'm looking at 
and 505 UX2 and Ethos. I will also do the side-by-side uh, -side comparison with my current amplifier which I've been using since 2007. I'm trying to choose my next amp so this is the video about the amplifier that currently I'm looking at. I'm not gonna judge anything other than for my money. I mean I can tell you which one is worth the money or not but I'm going to make a lot of people unhappy. You decide which one have a better build quality, which one really reflect the price and quality ratio. So please stay tuned, I will let you guys know which one I went for and why I choose them. So please stay tuned and thank you for watching.